Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. What do you reckon? The old XT's finished. Complete restoration and it's looking good. Check out those videos if you haven't and don't forget to subscribe. Very important. We're going to get this channel happening. Well, the XT's awaiting delivery by the way, but uh, yeah, we don't want the guy who's going to get it to know. Anyway, the next project, the one that's coming up, this is going to be a good one. How does Honda CBX 1000 sound? I know, how exciting. The old six cylinder Honda, that would be an awesome restoration project. It's only one problem. I don't have one yet, but with a little bit of trickery, I think we can work something out. Now, where is that magical mallet? That flaming mallet is never around when you want it. Where is it? Oh, haha, <laughs> excellent. magical mallet it's all or nothing CBX 1000 let's go I can feel it it's working it's working yes look at that look at look at that look at what in the world <laughs> I've always been able to talk. I don't yes. talk to you, fool. Listen, I'm I asked for CBX1000. I know, but I can't tell the difference. What do you mean <laughs> you don't know the difference? I only have a rubber brain. Uh, a <laughs> rubber brain, eh? That's right. Oh, well. I guess it's a start. It yeah. is the bike I learned to ride up on. Just fix it, fool. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, see you later. See you later, Magic Mallet. Oh, well. New restoration project is a new restoration project. Let's get into it. Well, let's have a bit of a closer look. There's uh, some interesting wiring going on there for the high voltage to the spark plug. Uh, fuel line is that dry, I can't get that off, so we'll cut that off. Let's have a look inside the tank. It's looking pretty rusty in there. I oh, know, it's not going to focus, but you can see the colour of the rust. There's some big chunks in there. Right, yeah, we're going to see if we can get some... inject some fuel in here somehow. Oh! Fail! Extreme fail! Doesn't seal! <laughs> fuel going everywhere! Sophisticated fuel tank is hooked up. Oh, okay. The car is absolutely hemorrhaging fuel. Looks like the float's stuck. That doesn't surprise me. Trying to tap the bowl to see if the flow will come good. 
Well, I popped the bottom off the carby. Have a look at the sludge that's in there. Just brown rust. No wonder that, oh, the float barely even moves. All right, we'll get this cleaned up, put back together and see what happens. Oh yeah, I pulled the spark plug out to have a look. The carby's back in, cleaned up. I'm a bit dubious of holding the spark plug, I tell you. Oh, there's sparks there. And good sparks too. Now have a look. This is one of those old two-piece plugs that comes apart so you can clean it. There's not too many of those around these days. Okay, unless there's a valve or something stuck open. We'll see if it'll go. Let's see if I can get the plug back in. There she goes. Hopefully it holds fuel this time. Fuel tank ready. Sitting in a pool of dried petrol. Chokes. I'll hook the air cleaner back up. Oh, it's leaking a bit of petrol now. Oh, now it's stopped. We've got the fire hose on standby anyway. Oh, I tell you what, I think it's going to go. all stripped. Seem to have been here before with an XT500. Big pile of parts. We'll have a quick look. The little bike's got some serious issues. Who would have thought such a little mini bike could be so worn out? What do we got? Camshaft here. 
it appears to be aluminium, I'm thinking. It's completely worn out. And the bearing that it runs in, in here, is also completely flogged out. And unfortunately, it's not a roller bearing. Looks like there might be a metal insert there. Perhaps I, maybe I can knock that out, I hope. Otherwise, the crankcase is gonna be a piece of junk. Um, what do we got down here? Tiny little piston, not much bigger than my thumb. Look at that. Teensy. Broken ring on that. Probably gonna need a rebore, I guess. And here's something that uh, surprised me when I pulled it apart. That's one of the push rods. Bent. Bent like a banana. How that ran, that's that's got me, that's got me bugger. I don't know. I guess if it was on the exhaust valve, it's only letting a tiny 15th of the gas out and it was able to run. Unbelievable. Teensy little head gasket. It's not playing the game. Dirty head. I haven't pulled the valves apart yet. We'll get to that. Uh, what else? Other problems? A little bit of play in the big air. Maybe I can get away with that. It's not going to get ridden that much. Um, it was slipping out of second gear. And there's rear, the dogs on here are very badly rounded. It has this strange internal gear selection system that selects between first and second gear. So I'm going to have to try to source some of those parts. Oh, what else? Oh, that, um, yeah, look, look at the teeth on that cam chain, that cam gear. Just about completely gone. That's, that's the obvious stuff that I've found, found so far. It's uh, got to be worked. There's a brake. Front brake hub's got a chunk missing out of it there. So now I'm going to have to try to source another one of those parts. The tank, although it's dinted, doesn't look too bad. There's some nice original colour under there to get the get a paint, paint, put, put, put paint sample off. The only other problem I've got is getting this steering head assembly off because that is on a spline and of course it's rusted solid. You saw me trying to heat it up and get it off. I think I got it to move, but I'm just gonna let it soak for a couple of days before I tackle that again. All right, we'll leave it at that. And we'll catch you next time.